Executive Order 41. An executive order is when the president or a mayor or a governor knows they can't get something by um, Congress or their city council, so they just write it up themselves. This one was issued by New York City Mayor Mike Bloomberg in 2003. Essentially, it was a pledge that the city would not alert immigration authorities to illegals who otherwise obey the law. And it was intended, at least they say, to encourage illegal immigrants to seek help from the police and other agencies without fear that they'd be turned in to federal immigration officials. Well, wait until you hear this story. New York City cab driver now crying foul because he says police lieutenant here in New York tipped off the feds about his illegal status. So it's in court now. He's suing. Jessica Vaughn is a senior policy analyst for the Center for Immigration Studies and former Foreign Services Officer. Uh, Jessica, first of all, let's start with this. How did this guy get called? Why, why did the police officer call? Well, this guy had a history of illegal activity, of tra traffic tickets, of dangerous behavior with respect to other people. He was like a ticking time bomb in this community. Okay, give me, some, give me some examples here of the things that he had done. Well, he had uh, been involved in fights with other people. He had tried, apparently tried to run somebody over with his car. Over He's a illegal. parking space. Yes. I mean, it's like that Seinfeld episode. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it is. So he's clearly a danger to other people in New York, aside from his, the fact that he's an illegal alien. Right. But so, that doesn't, wait, wait, that doesn't quite go far enough. When you think of illegal aliens, the media has trained us to go, oh, but it's only because Mexico is so bad and they're just trying to come over here and feed their family because of the economy of Mexico. This isn't an illegal alien from Mexico. He's an illegal alien living in New York City. Where is he from originally? He's from Palestine. The West, the West Bank. Bank. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's from the West Bank, the place where they were handing out candy and cake on 9-11. How did this guy get into the country? He came in on a visa and he simply overstayed. Wait a minute, like, I thought we were going to fix that as our government after 9-11. Wasn't that the first thing we were going to fix? Uh, well, supposedly, but the, yeah. uh, the, the mechanisms have not been <laughs> implemented at all. I mean, right. overstayers are all, as many as, you know, 40-some yeah. percent of illegal aliens. Yeah, no, I know. It is, it, the problem is actually uh, doubled in size. But Executive Order 41, let me go to the city now. Executive 41 was to try to get poor illegal aliens who are here to feel comfortable with calling the police. But you say that's not even a problem. No, they, all of these executive orders, sanctuary orders and so on, um, are based on junk social science. If you look at the uh, Justice Department's crime statistics, specifically on victimization and on crime reporting, they don't keep statistics on immigrants in particular, but what you'll find is that Hispanics, for example, actually have higher rates of crime reporting than non-Hispanics. Yeah. So there's no reason to believe that this is even a problem, much less that this executive order is the way to deal with it. The social science research does show that the main reason immigrants don't report crimes by far is language barriers and oh. not understanding well, how... Well, we should all speak all languages then. Right. Jessica, um, one final question here. I've only got 30 seconds. He's suing now. Who's paying the court fees? Well, the Asian American Legal Defense Fund is, is representing him, but I imagine the taxpayers of New uh, York City are picking up a big part of the tab, too, to defend the police officers. Well, it's <laughs> only the right thing to do. It's Jessica, a great country, isn't it? It really is. I love it more every day. <laughs> Jessica, thanks a lot.